Hello, everyone. My name is Melissa Strimke. I'm the Carthage R9 Distance Online Learning first grade teacher. I am here to help you out with getting our feet wet with the virtual learning online. Um, my kids do an excellent job at this now. I'm super proud of how much work we can do on a daily basis now, but it was not always easy. And the beginning was a little frustrating. So hopefully I can help clear up some of that frustration for you all now that we've been there, done that. The most important thing you will need to get going is the seesaw paper and my camera flips it backwards. It's got a QR code down here and then a 16 digit alphabetic code down here. So when you, you can just search, Google search seesaw and it pops right up or you can do the correct website there. You need this part down here on the bottom. Um, you can enter the text code right here, the 16, 16 letters, or you can do the scan code if you have a tablet or on your phone or a computer with a camera. And when you do, <laughs> you do that, it's so weird. It just pops up and it's already there. There's your child's name. You can change their avatar if if they don't want that avatar. They're a bunch of adorable little animals. Um, so once you get to this page, the only other thing you really need is your packet that has a sticker that looks like that. And we're ready to go. All right. You're going to want to make sure you are in the activity section over here. It has the light bulb. And this one has a, a four beside it because I send Carson activities to practice for me at home sometimes. So he's got four activities that I send him that he hasn't done yet. But uh, this is the one you will want to look for. Daily Lesson Journal, AMXI Day 1. Now, if your teacher has set multiple days, then you're gonna have more than one. So make sure you're on the right day. When I am ready to do my work, uh, a lot of the trouble we had, some of the parents were clicking this picture over here. This does not take you to the ones that the kids can edit. Um, it's just a picture and it's very useful after the kids have completed the lesson when we can go back and see what they've done. But right now it's not going to help you out at all. So look for this green plus button, add response. That's what we want. And your journal will pop up. You can see I've got some seesaw tips and tricks over there. Um, those are not mine actually. Those are from my parents. Uh, they are incredible and it does, it does take some work, but once the kids get going, they can function relatively independently, which is fabulous. Again, make sure it says day one. And you've got your slides over here. You can click the arrow. You can click one of these and it'll take you directly to the page. Uh, but I think my kids just go down the line over there. So your first activity is a reading lesson and you will open up your packet and find the page that matches. There's a toucan picture right there. Um, some of the kids, prefer reading out the computer. Some of them prefer the paper, just like grownups. I cannot read on a Kindle to save my life. Uh, so whatever your child prefers. Um, you will find a gray box on every page that will give you directions right here. I read these directions and some of them do have a little bit of extra um, work. On this one, for your third reading, I have asked my students to record themselves reading. So I'll show you how that works. Uh, so if I want to mark on my computer how many times we've read, my kids love the magic writing tool and it just puts a little glow around all their writing. So you would color in that star the first time you read. And then the second time they read, maybe they want to use a highlighter and you can highlight. The highlighter is cool because you can always see the writing underneath. And then maybe for the third time, they're gonna use a pen and color that star. Again, the third time we want them to read to us. So you'll come over up here and click that microphone and it will do a countdown. Oh, wait, do start new recording. Um, Re-record would have you recording over my directions. So do start new recording. It's also easier for the teachers to see when you do that. Toucans are not good at flying. 
toucans have small wings. Okay, and then when you're done, there's a done button up here. It says done. You'll check that, and it puts a big play button in the middle of your screen, and that will be your child's voice reading to the teacher. How cool is that? Um, you can also do the worksheet on Seesaw, and you might want to check with your teacher to make sure this is okay. Some of them might want the kids writing. So it gives you a text box, and it's not going to be in the right spot at the beginning Oop, at all. So I'm going to type my, my main idea. Two cans are not good at flying. And then once you do that, you can move it wherever you want. You can make it longer. Oh, if you unclick off of it, though, yeah. Move it over there. There you go. Two cans are not good at flying. So you could use the typing tool. Um, I know if you have a stylus and a large laptop or a computer touch screen, then you could have the kids write the key details. Um, they hop from branch to branch, or again, they can just write on the worksheet. And I will sh we'll talk more about submitting a picture in a little bit. All right, so once they finish that page, they go on to word work. And I thought this was a really awesome activity to put in Seesaw because the kids can use that, that highlighter we love so much. And they can find the words. Let's see, I see the word lake right here. So they can color the word lake. And of course, I would just draw one line through it, but I know that's not what the kids are going to want to do. So there's lake. <laughs> Again, it's in your packet. If you don't want to do it on this on Seesaw, on the computer, you can do it on the packet and take a picture. And then I divided up this page into two Seesaw pages because I do have some kids that I know my DOL students have styluses, most of them, and they can write cape. So they would write C-A-P-E on the line there. Um, you all may not have that. If not, just submit a picture. This is one you will have to submit a picture of and the directions say find the alligator worksheet in your packet, take a picture and place it in this box. This one is also the same way, the creative writing one. So you're going to have your child do the worksheet, and when you are finished, you use the camera button over here. It's super quick and easy. They don't have to upload anything. It is right there. Take a photo. All right, photo quality, here we go. This is very difficult to read. Um, definitely don't let your child write with a yellow crayon or a yellow marker because we can't see it. If you have a big window behind you, it's a good idea to close the blinds or move somewhere where that light is not shining through the paper because that also makes it difficult to see. If you have a light in front of you shining towards your paper, that is that is what works the best. And um, please help your child. I know my kids still, they don't usually take pictures by themselves so because it's hard to get them in the right spot and it's really kind of tricky when you move your hand one way, the computer picture moves it the other way. So get it in the right spot, click that button, and there's your work. And then of course you can make it larger so that the teacher can read it all. If you can't read it on your device, then your teacher probably won't be able to see it on her device either. And of course you can do this on your phone if your child if you don't have internet except for your phone, you can just get in on each page, snap, 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 and on each, put them up there and we know you did your work. So you're getting that digital component without actually being on the internet all the time. Um, math, I have your text boxes in there already so your child doesn't have to try to mess around with those, getting them the right size. If your child clicks in the box, one, two, three, they type a three, ta-da easy peasy. Or again, do the work in the packet, take a picture of it, and put it on the page. Let's see, and then at the end, I did include a bonus activity. Uh, if you would like to do the bonus activity, or I didn't do the packet, that was 
That was Brittany Thompson. I don't get any credit for that. Um, if you would like to do the bonus activity, I think it's a placemat on day one and take a picture of it so your teacher can see it. That would be wonderful. I've also included a link to Clever on there because Clever is um, full of games. Uh, I've got ABC Mouse on mine, ABC uh, Epic. I know several of our teachers have Epic or Tumble Books. You can read with your kid. There is so much out there. So Clever is kind of where we put the best of the best and you can get there easily. All right. Now, the most important part. So your teacher can see what you did. If you hit draft, your teacher can see what you did, that it's in draft. We can't comment on it. We just know you started it. Oh, I forgot to tell you about draft mode. Yes. So if you're working and um, say you have another child that needs on the computer right then, hit draft. It will save your work. It says it's in draft. You can come back and everything you did will still be there. Make sure you click the edit and then all your stuff will be in there. You're good to go. See, my, my voice recording is still there. New feature, they didn't have that at, on Seesaw when we started. So once they we discovered that, it was yay, Seesaw. Okay, so once all your work is done, it's ready to go to the teacher. There's a green button right here to submit. Again, if you accidentally hit the screen button too early, your teacher can send it right back to you. It's no big deal. And it will tell you waiting for teacher approval. That means it's sent. That means it is. if I logged in as Mrs. Strimke, it would be right there waiting for me. So I know there are probably a lot of questions and I would be more than happy to help wherever I can. I know your teachers are doing the best they can. This is not easy on anybody, but it is possible. And I really enjoy my distance online learning class now. Good luck. You can do this. We can do this together.